Hi guys, so if you follow me on social media, you've already seen this, but Marius and I bought a, an apartment yesterday, and I st still can't believe it. It's, it's a big step, and we've been looking at apartments for a while, so I'm super excited, but we have to turn in like all our documents and stuff, so I'm still like stressing like crazy. And uh, thank god I'm working late today, so I can do all this from home. And uh, I don't have to leave for another hour, but we're still waiting to hear from the bank and we have to just get everything settled by 2 p.m. today. It's now 10.15 and whew, it's a ride. If you've ever bought a house or an apartment, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But this is crazy. I like we shared a bottle of wine yesterday to celebrate a little bit and then I bought some packing like uh, moving boxes and we're... I just want to pack the entire apartment down now, to be honest. I just want to leave and get out of here and move somewhere nice. I'll insert some pictures so you can see what the apartment actually looks like. And uh, it's, it's nice. The people who live there until now, they're more old. So they have put things in the apartment that we want to remove. But the apartment is from 2007, so it's really nice. And you don't have to do anything before you move in. It's all nice and settled. And uh, everything is nice. It has like these huge windows and there's a balcony and I'm just super excited. And on top of like we're going to be moving, I have been wanting to starting my own business doing um, like virtual assistant, social media services or so I'm just in the beginning of getting into that and I'm really excited to maybe be able to work from home in the near future it would be amazing so if any of you need a virtual assistant or if you want to talk to me about it if you are a virtual assistant or you do work from home and you want to share your experience I would appreciate that so much my email is down below so you can send me an email if you have anything to share or you have some questions or if you want to tell me your experience I would greatly appreciate it because this is so brand new to me and I think 2018 is going to be a good year. I really do. And I've also been wondering if I want to do some merch for my channel. So if you would like some merch, let me know. Would you like coffee cups or t-shirts or what do you prefer? Maybe I should sell like these little spoons because they're just too adorable. And uh, they have names now. It's Nosy and Parker. This is Parker. And uh, I have some more coming in the mail also. I, they have like some longer versions. So I bought a couple of those as well. So the apartment that we bought now, it is, we got it on, um, it's like dibs. Uh, so Marius is a member of a company that has to do with real estate. And sometimes that company has a dibs on apartments. So someone, we didn't have to bid on this apartment like we did in the vlog where I did the bidding. Uh, that was not necessary for this one. So we just sat there, we got notifications about the bid bids coming in. And then at the end of it, the company called Marius and was like, hey, this is what it's going for. If you want it for this price, it's yours. And uh, we actually set a price of two and a half million, but we ended up paying two five fifty. So two million five hundred fifty thousand Norwegian krona, which is it's lower than what we were going to pay for the other one. Uh, this apartment is actually closer to where we live now, so it's closer to both of our jobs, which is nice than the other one was. It has a big balcony, which I don't remember if the other one had a balcony, but it did not have anywhere close to the view. This one has a view, and it's beautiful and these like huge windows and there's like a, a floor terrace at the top which is for the entire building and uh, I want to do videos of us moving and packing and stuff like that so uh, if you want to see that I probably will get that as well at some point I don't know when we're moving and then before we even get a date I have to hear back from the bank and I'm like anxiously checking my phone because she's going to call me back and uh, I just want to get this fixed because I just want to get a moving date and start packing and cleaning and telling our downstairs landlords that we're going to be moving because we haven't yet since we haven't gotten a date 
or anything. And then, um, I don't think I'm going to be cutting this video a lot because I want it to be just like uncut and authentic. But I'm just so excited to move. I we've been wanting to move for f Jesus. We've been wanting to move for forever, and it feels really nice. And now we're just stressing that maybe we don't get things done fast enough, and that we're going to lose the apartment because of like silly little things. And um, it's really annoying. It's actually more annoying than the bidding round because by then it was like, okay, you either got it or you didn't. But now it's like, it's ours. We just have to put these things down with the bank. And we I know we have the fa finances for it. It's just to get it done. And uh, my contact at the bank is actually really nice. And uh, she's going to put up a budget and stuff like that with regards to all of the other uh, things that we'll be needing to pay in addition to the actual rent and mortgage. So it's going to be really nice. I know there were a couple of other things that I wanted to talk about as well. Uh, but basically, I we bought a house. I want to start working for myself, so I want to start my own business. And at some potential point in the future, quit my job at Ikea and be able to work from home and be location independent. Not that I want to travel all the time like a digital nomad, but I would like to have the opportunity to do that. And the opportunity to be able to go and travel when I want and not without having a hectic schedule and thousands of other people to fit into it all. But the um, apartment, it's in the second floor of a um, complex and it has one bedroom and a living room and a kitchen and then there's like a storage thing inside the apartment and then also a storage in the basement of the apartment there is one place in the garage and then there's also some other areas that you can park since we do have three cars i have one well marius technically owns both of the cars that we have because he bought the first one and then when we got an, well when he wanted a car that was newer he bought the other one but then the other st car is still registered on him because it would cost us money to register it on me but I've been wondering maybe if that would still be cheaper in the long run because I've owned a car longer than he has. Maybe not now because he's been owning a car for the past year and a half when I have not. So it might be about the same. But then if something happened or something because he doesn't drive the car anymore. So we're going to look into maybe transferring that car over to my name. And that would also make all the bills coming my name which would make it a lot easier for me to pay for it. Which I'm currently not doing when I'm honest. And, um, I just have a thousand thoughts going through my head right now about moving and packing everything down and having an apartment that's nice and light. Like, these, uh, wood boards, like, and, like, the slanted ceiling, the other apartment doesn't have that. And it's just going to be great. And, uh, it's been a while since I talked to the contact. I have something here poking me. It's been 35 minutes since I spoke to her, so hopefully I'll hear back soon. I don't know how long stuff like this takes. And we've never been in a position where we were actually going to get the apartment. We just have to turn things in, so it's a little bit stressful. So I think I'm going to have to bring my computer to work today just so that I can actually get everything through. And make sure that everything I have everything that I need. Because I can connect my computer up to the hotspot on my phone because we don't have free employee Wi-Fi at work. Which I think we should have, but we don't. This is a weird video. I'm sorry, you guys. But at least you got to see the pictures of the apartment. Uh, I don't think I'm going to post anything from the view because I don't know how easily recognizable it is. And obviously, I don't want everyone on the internet to know exactly where I live. So, um, it is closer to Hennefoss than we live now. And um, it's probably about half an hour to dri drive to work, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit longer. I don't know. And 
I'm really excited. I just want everything to go through so that we actually get confirmation that this will be ours. And then we can start packing things down and we're going to my mom's to watch her cats for the weekend. And uh, today is Tuesday. No, it's not. Today is Wednesday and we're going to my mom's on Friday. And I want to bring some boxes of things over to hers and pack down some like books and DVDs and stuff that doesn't have to be available here. Obviously we still need like our cutlery and stuff like that, but things that we don't really need, we just like to have like books and um, DVDs and everything. We could always manage without for a few months. But... Oh, probably be able to pack down some clothes. There are like two hu huge wardrobes in the apartment that we're moving to. And um, I know Marius is really stressed out about this deadline at two o'clock with having to have delivered everything in. And uh, I think the two hours from 12 to two when I'm at work is going to go super slow just because I'm going to be thinking about everything else. <laughs> but I, um, I don't know, I think it's going to be good. I have the feeling that we're going to move. Mary said yesterday that I had a feeling that we're, we celebrated a little bit too early because um, we did share a bottle of wine yesterday and we like told our friends that we got an apartment and we told our family and um, because obviously it's a really fun situation and we're not that old, we're, well I'm 24, Mary is still 23 and um, I don't know how typically how old you are when you buy an apartment. In Norway, I feel like it's pretty common to have like bought an apartment, maybe not when you're like in the beginning of your 20s, but at the end of the 20s. And I know a lot of people get help from their parents to get buy an apartment because it is crazy expensive and you have to have 15% of what your um, of the apartment's value already when you're buying to hold down a security for the um, house that you're buying and then in the in addition to that you get like document fees which is like two and a half percent of the sum uh, the apartment that we're buying is not self-owned so we don't have to pay that fee which is nice because two and a half percent of two and a half million is pretty much it's a lot mm. I think I'm just gonna end the video here. I don't think I'm going to have anything more exciting to say, but we bought an apartment and I want to move. We want to move as soon as possible. I want to start my own business. I want to be able to work from home and be location independent. I want to do a virtual assistant and like, a virtual assistant can be Okay, he got a um, confirmation from the company that has the... I don't know what it's called. It's not called Dibs, that's for sure. First refusal, apparently, according to Google Translate. He has first refusal, and we were the only one with first refusal for this apartment. If not, it would go by seniority. But we didn't have to think about that for this one. So he got a comp uh, confirmation that they received the claim for first refusal and they're just missing our um, financial documents from the bank. So I'm just waiting to hear from my contact so I can send that into them. <sighs> I still can't believe we bought, a, we bought an apartment. I just, my head is just not, not connecting. It's like, I'm talking about it and I'm really excited, but my head is like not, not grasping it. But like I said, I'm just going to end this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any experience, like, let me know everything down below. Have you worked as a VA? Do you work from home? What, how do you like it? What, where did you start? First of all, like, I want to um, set up a website and and a Facebook page that, not like my crispy black Facebook page, Facebook page specifically for this. I think I want to set up another one Either that or I'll change around the other one I think I want the website to be like everything so like my services and my social media and everything So hopefully I will get that done and uh, I might have to learn some coding to do that I've been thinking about maybe taking a um, Class on 
front end developing which is like coding and CSS and stuff like that I remember I did some coding like HTML I think HTML5 and CSS in high school and I remember really liking it a lot um, but then I just stopped doing it so I have forgotten a lot and uh, I would really like to pick back up on it I think but it takes time and with YouTube full-time job starting another business it's just a lot so my cr life is going to be hectic in the near future and um, anyway I am going to stop rambling so I really do hope you enjoy this video and uh, leave it a big like if you liked it leave any comments down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already bye